hey everyone welcome you all so in this video we are going to discuss about the difference between http and the mqtt protocols which are used so what are the key features of the both uh, protocols and how they will be differ with each other so those things will be covering in this session so if you are new to the channel please guys hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates okay so uh, first we are having http and in the second column the mqtt is there so the first difference is http is a request response type of a model of communication so and the mqtt is a publish subscriber based model of communication so the meaning of request response is so if you are uh, if you want to search something and you are you have to make a request for the server to gather the information for you so that is when you made a request for particular thing you will be provided with a data that is information uh, back so that is we are requesting for the server and it is giving back as the uh, information so that is request response here but publish subscriber model is something uh, of different okay so where uh, there will be a broker or a publisher so we will be subscribing to this uh, subscriber so we are a subscriber and this is the publisher so for this publisher we will be subscribing once so once you have uh, subscribed to this uh, particular topic then uh, the continuous updates will be sent to you that is uh, example so if you take an example of temperature so if you are uh, interested in knowing temperature at a particular place and you have subscribed for that particular topic then any changes in that uh, area the temperature changes will be sent to you whether you want or don't want so it will not ask uh, it will not ask again you whether you want to know the temperature at this place right now or not so once you subscribe then that's all it will be continuously sending the data to you so that is publish subscriber model so it is uh, somewhat different from that of the request response so the next uh, difference is so the http is a bulk uh, bulk protocol so it is having the header uh, which is very uh, heavy as compared to the mqtt so the mqtt is a lightweight protocol here so its header is only of 2 bytes so by uh, knowing the sizes message format we can come to know how much they will be differing with each other and the third difference is overhead is large due to greater size of the protocol so overhead in processing the processing time required for this http is higher as compared to the mqtt due to the greater size of the protocol itself and uh, the fourth difference is power consumption is high so obviously the power consumption will be high in case of http because it is a bulk protocol and, and it transfers large amount of data and in case of mqtt the power consumption will be low and the uh, mqtt transfers only small amount of data here so as compared to http which is used to transfer the bulk uh, amount, bulky data mqtt is used in iot devices because there we need to transfer only small amount of data so mqtt is used where there is a need of only transferring small amount of data so overhead is less for that obviously okay so moving further the fifth difference so here http transfers huge amount of data and the power consumption for this one that is mqtt is less and for http it is higher okay so now six differences response time is greater for http so as it is a bulky protocol and, and, and it uh, transfers large amount of data at a time the response time will be greater for the http but in case of mqtt the response time is lower because it is a lightweight protocol and it has got a only header of 2 bytes so that is the difference we can know uh, that is a notable difference we should be and the next difference is document centric and the mqtt is a data centric here so http is document centric and the mqtt is data centric and um, 
the next that is eighth one not much secure so this http is not as secure so it is uh, secure up to some limit but as compared to http the mqtt is very secure so if you are comparing http and mqtt we can say that http is as not much secure as that of the mqtt so mqtt is secure here and the next that is ninth one is the upper layer for http is udp here so as you can see in the slide so udp is the upper layer for the http protocol but in case of mqtt the upper layer is tcp so with the help of tcp itself it will be communicating with the application layer and the session layer networking layer so all other layers which are above that of the mqtt protocol layer but the http uses udp uh, layer to communicate with the application layer that is uh, to communicate with the uh, end user that is the ultimate user so it can be application or a user or a human being so to communicate with that object or the human the http uses udp but the mqtt uses tcp here so the next difference is header is large with ascii format so the header format will be ascii in case of the http but the uh, here the hexadecimal will be the header format and it is of only two byte as i said earlier okay so moving next the data distribution is one to one here so in case of http the data distribution is one to one so one to one means if sir there is a server and uh, the user is here okay so if you make a request to him then the data will be transferred between the server and you itself so this is the request thing and this is the response which is sent from that server so that is one to one communication will be happening in case of http but in case of mqtt that is not the case if this is the subscriber uh, that is publisher and these are the two subscribers to you uh, to this publisher so this is first subscriber and this is the second subscriber so if these both subscribers that is these two subscribers are subscribed to the topic uh, let us say the uh, light or pressure or temperature anything you can take so if there is a change in parameter then those changes will be sent to this subscriber as well as this subscriber over here because they are subscribed to this one and the data will be sent simultaneously so as soon as the parameter changes in the environment those changes will be uh, forwarded to the end users or the subscribers by the publisher or the broker which is sitting between them so this is a broker node here okay so that is one to many so here the only one broker is sitting and it is sending the data to many subscribers so there is no limit on subscribers it can be any number so here is the communication one to one but in case of mqtt it is one to many so this is also an important difference guys and then uh, moving on further we have an example over here so the example is google search engine uses http so as you can see so uh, make a, a quick practical so if you are searching something then it will be displaying like http uh, then colon then double slash then the website is url so that says we are communicating on the http protocol so that is hypertext transfer protocol so that is a secure protocol for web surfing so google search engine yahoo and bing other engines like mi uh, mi search engines uc browser chrome anything you can take all those search engines which provide bulk data are using the http protocol to make communication because it is a bulk transfer and in usually the in, uh, if you are using an internet then we are seeing the videos then we have to watch uh, the images then we have to download the files of size uh, gbs so there uh, there is a need to transfer of huge data so that's why we have to use the http there we can't use the mqtt because it is meant for only small amount of data transfer so in iot it is an ideal uh, protocol but for real world applications that is the applications where there is a need of uh, high amount of data transfer we can't use mqtt obviously so other social media apps like whatsapp instagram facebook or anything you can take snapchat wechat anything 
so they are all using the http protocol itself and coming to the mqtt it is used in iot applications mainly as i have said it is developed in order to meet the iot applications needs and facebook uses the uh, MQTT protocol here. So if you are uh, chatting on Facebook next time, then remember that you are talking on MQTT protocol, not HTTP because in Facebook we will be sending only a small uh, messages that is the um, basically the of, uh, data that is audio or the text messages we will be sending. So uh, we are uh, the Facebook is using MQTT and then Amazon IoT. So this is the uh, recent development from Amazon that is it is building an uh, Amazon IoT enterprise there and then the Adafruit company has developed Adafruit IoT etc etc so all those companies are using MQTT right now because its throughput is high and overhead time is low and it will be uh, uh, meeting the real world needs so these are all the possible differences which I can note and the sum of examples regarding these HTTP and MQTT I hope you like this video please guys if you found this video useful please support us by hitting the like button and uh, if you want to share this video feel free to share thank you thanks for watching